¿Cómo se dice? Arg, arg en, en español. Originally, the idea was, was to bring them illegally. Because oh, I didn't know you could bring pianos to Cuba legally. But as soon as I asked permission from a commerce department, they started researching it. Can you do this legally? And it took them a, a few weeks, but they came up with the answer. <laughs> We got a permission, and it said um, in small print at the bottom, these instruments are, no, these are not supposed to, this aid is not, or these are not supposed to be used for the purpose of torture or human rights abuse. And that's the only thing we had to agree. They're school in Canada, and they're going to go crazy when they get back to knowing he's a great tuner now already. They asked me if I could bring some pianos from the States, and I said, of course, no problem, we can, People don't use their pianos in the States after a while. They throw them away or they, they leave them in the basement and then nobody touches them. And I'm sure they give it to you if you, because you need them, clearly. And so uh, I said it would be no problem. <laughs> Really the situation is that there's uh, 11 million Cubans and like most of them seem to play the piano. I mean, it's, uh, even before the revolution, education was big, I think, in Cuba. But now it's big for everybody, of course, because it's all egalitarian. And um, so there's like millions of Cubans pounding on these horrible Russian pianos. So the situation is very serious. Para, me, para saber dónde se ponen los matillos, la altura, sí. el altura. ¿Tú tienes? You know, you can get pretty political being in Cuba because the, you know the Cuban American National Foundation forces it on you. <laughs> But you no, know, I mean I'm just. A piano tuner that, um, that sort of fell in love with Cuba in uh, the early 90s. And I guess I got pretty political after that. <laughs>